the law of attraction is God's messenger of truth to you. That's really important to understand. So, the law of attraction is giving me what I really want. And of course, if you think about it, God wants you to be real. That's the first thing God wants you to be. So, for example, many of us have anger in our hearts towards God, for example. Because we feel really annoyed that God hasn't given us what we want, that God hasn't given us a little rule book that we can say, well, there's God's laws and I can follow that, right? How many of you feel really frustrated about that? Where's my guidebook? Like, there's all these laws AJ is telling me about. Nobody's told them to me before. What's God doing? Right? Like, where's the, like, surely you should have, like, given an instruction manual. You know, when, when, a, when they build a car, an instruction manual comes. Somebody build this. An instruction manual, manual should have come, right? And, that, and the truth is, that instruction manual has come. But we just don't recognise it, and the instruction manual is the law of attraction. God's messenger of truth to your soul is the instruction manual. But we often don't think of it that way. We think of it as a pain in the neck. And so what we do is we look at the instruction manual, the law of attraction, that's attracted all these bad relationships and all of this bad financial situation, all of these other things in my life. And so what do we do? We look at it and say, don't like that instruction manual. <laughs> Give me another one. And God said, no, no, no. This is your instruction manual. What I'm trying to do, and this is God's message to you, what I'm trying to do is tell you the truth about yourself. And the law of attraction, this law that operates on your true condition, your soul condition, tells you the truth about yourself. You, in fact, can use this law to find out the truth about everything within yourself. If you have the courage to do that. So, it's really like God saying to you, here's the instruction manual, and us having the courage to open it. Oh, AJ's got, oh, he's got anger with God. Mm, you know, and we start reading the instruction manual, which is actually a very personal instruction manual. It's not an instruction manual given to all of you like as one manual, because all of us are different, aren't we? We all have different emotions, we have different feelings, we have different passions, we have different desires. Even in our pristine condition, we have different personalities. So, does it make any sense for God to give one instruction manual? It doesn't really, does it? So what he's done is he's provided this law of attraction which operates on your personal soul condition. It's your personalised instruction manual that you have, can have the ability to open up and have a good look at what you really are. Now, the big problem is that most of us open something up and have a look at what we really are. You know, when we go to a mirror in the morning and we have a look, we're not that happy with what we see. And so what are we tempted to do then? We're tempted to say, ah, oh, the mirror is a bad idea, right? <laughs> How many of you have given up the mirror altogether? <laughs> yeah. It's very hard to give up because we always want to see what somebody else is saying. But if we have the courage to look at God's instruction manual, the law of attraction, which is operating on the soul condition, then we can see what God is trying to tell us about the truth about our own life, about our own condition. Now, you think about that from a positive point of view. That's very powerful, isn't it? That means that every single one of us here has a personal instruction manual which we can actually look at every single moment of every single day. That's a very powerful place to be in, if you see your life like that. But most of us don't see our life like that. Most of us see our life totally the opposite way, and that is that I'm not responsible for what's around me, Everybody else is responsible for what's around me. And so we try to make everyone else responsible, including God, and we don't see ourselves as a powerful creator. We start seeing ourselves as the person that everybody kicks around, that everybody manipulates and controls, don't we? We start seeing ourselves as a victim of life rather than the creator of our own existence. Now, this law, the law of attraction, which operates upon the soul condition, is telling you that actually, no, you are the creator of your life, but not here. 
it is here that's creating your life. And if you allow yourself to ponder about that and really take that into account, your life can change very, very rapidly. So what kind of things are actually part of your law of attraction? There's huge mountains of things. In the, in the section under scope of the law of attraction, notice down the page, I've said everything on earth and in the spirit world, so all of, the spirit, all of our spirit friends that are here today, even in the spirit world, everything surrounding you is the result of your law of attraction. So how many of you have nasty, a nasty neighbour? A few of you have a nasty neighbour? That's your law of attraction. How many of you have had a father who's been angry? How many of you have had a father who's been angry? That's now law, your law of attraction. How many of you have a... Um, how many of you had relationships that have never been satisfying? That's your law of attraction. You created it. You created it. You created it. Do you get that? So you see, you see what we're often doing is saying, no, no, how can you say that? Okay, that's not fair. I didn't make him be angry. I don't want him to be angry with me. Why is he angry with me? You created it. There's something in you that causes him to believe he can get angry with you and get away with it. There's something in you that allows that. How many of you have been cheated on by a partner? Almost half. Well, good, yeah, nearly half of the audience. You created it. How can you say that? They're the one who did the cheating. How can you say that you created it? Well, there was something inside of your soul that attracted it. Something inside of you that was triggered by that event that you created. You created that person. You, you created even the relationship. Does that make sense? You created it. Like I said, everything surrounding you that is happening to you, every single relationship in your life, every single person, every single event, your, every single personality, every single trauma, every single good thing that happens in your life is all created by your law of attraction. By your soul condition. Even as a child? Um, as a child it's a little different. So we, this is as an adult. I'm talking about it as an adult. As a child, it's very much your parents' laws of attraction that create things that are going on inside of you as a child. Right? And this is where, when we, have the, when we have the discussion about parenting and children, you'll find that as parents we have a huge responsibility because we are actually not only creating the law of attraction for ourselves, but by just bringing the child into our environment, we are now creating a law of attraction for our child. So I'm talking to a group of adults here, and everything that is right now in your life is created by your law of attraction. And your law of attraction is God's messenger of truth to you to help you release from yourself emotions that are disharmonious with love and to allow emotions that are harmonious with love to enter you. This is the purpose of your law of attraction. 